Yes or no? I wonder. Hey guys, Tasha aka Jolly Frog and I am here with an interactive experience from the Resus Council which is a UK organisation who teach people how to do CPR, teach people how to respond to someone choking. Um, they created this website can't remember how long ago I'll have to have a look and put a little note for you but they have created four films that are interactive and teach you how to deal with someone who has had a cardiac arrest deal with someone who is choking I haven't done these two before so I'm not sure what we'll be dealing with here but as some of you know I am I work in the, the healthcare profession and when we do training, when we do certain training, we tend to see these two videos quite often. So I have done this one quite a lot. This one I've only seen once. So eh, it's still fairly new-ish, but a lot of it is common sense. So we're gonna start with Jake's scenario. He has a cardiac arrest. Um, it is all timed, but I am not here to try and get yeah, right. the best like, time, you know. This is just an educational, interactive experience. Well, you weren't even there. They just set it up for me. You weren't there. I was always looking for you. All right, okay, yeah, you're, yeah, you're a one-man army, that's right. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know how to start? No, not at all. You've just made that up. What are you talking about? So Jake isn't looking too great, and he starts having oh, cardiac arrest. Oh, come on, stop looking around now, Jake. Jake, get up. Stop looking around, come on. Jake. What do we do? Jake. Jake. He's not, I don't think he is. Jake. Jake. I don't think he's looking around. Jake, come on. This guy's a very Jake. good actor. Come on, Jake, open your eyes, come on. Jake. Should Jake. we call someone? I, I, I don't know. Jake. Can you Jake, hear me? Come on, open your eyes. Is he even breathing? Why does he keep doing that with his mouth? Please. Let's say this is you. You're not a first aid expert. What do you do now? Now, it's not very good to just don't get involved. I'm going to do a lot of bad answers just so that you can see. Jake, should we call someone? I don't know. Jake. Jake. Jake, please, mate. Wake up, Jake. That's not the right answer. The poor guy, you know, this might seem unlikely, but in fact, it happens quite a lot. Very often, those who know first aid can be nervous of actually helping in real life. And people die as a result. So let's try that choice again. Okay, so we are going to try to help. I'm going to get a couple of wrong answers and then I'm going to go for the right answers. So you don't Oi! just run to them. If you come across an emergency situation, you should always check for danger first. Check your surroundings. Because you can't help anyone if you've been injured yourself. So. Let's try that choice again. Okay, so time for the correct answers. Is he Jake. even breathing? Jake, get up, please. What do we do? Can I help you? Yeah, please, um, our friend is collapsed. Do you know what to do? Okay, so we're going to try and get a response from him. And then we're going to shake his shoulders. Hello, are you okay? Jake. Jake. Hello, are you all right? Hello? Okay, so he is not responding. So this is when we have to start looking at what we need to do. So we're gonna open his airway. Exactly. You've got an unconscious casualty who's not responding. He might choke. So first, you need to open his airway. Okay, so pop him on his back. Jake, please, Jake! What? Move my mouse out of the way. Okay. So like I say, it's all timed. And again, we're not gonna go for the top highest, you know, score. That's right. And see how you've got your fingertips under the point of his chin. Now you've opened his airway so that he can breathe. What's next? Okay, so we're gonna look, listen and feel. Cause looking just won't be enough for 10 seconds. He is not breathing normally. You're right. Jake's not breathing. When someone has a cardiac arrest, they may hardly breathe at all, or they may take occasional, slow, noisy gasps, like Jake's been doing. This is not normal breathing. 
So what do you do now? OK, so we get them to call for an ambulance and get a defibrillator in case we need it. Right, OK. And can you find a defibrillator, please? A what? A defibrillator, an I AED. Could... Well, where do I, I find one of those? Her. Right, so in any public place, you should see them um, on the walls of shopping centres. You a station centers. or a shopping centre somewhere public? Yeah, there's a shopping station around the corner, but what do I look for? And they will look like this. This is what you're looking for, guys. You're looking for a metal box saying AED or defibrillator. It's usually got a heart with lightning through it. Right, I see what I can do. OK. Uh, hello, ambulance, please. I hope that lady took her phone because a lot of the time, uh, right, so we want to start CPR. A lot of the You're time... Right. It's time to start CPR. Pressing on his chest to buy time until the ambulance arrives. But where on his chest do you press? A lot of the defibrillators are locked away, so you need to call someone, get a code to open them up and get the defibrillator. Unfortunately, That's there are right. people out there who You put the heel them. of your hand in the centre of his chest with the other hand on top. But how do you push? OK, so... Once five to six centimetres. And we want to push okay, hard. OK, so now you're going to press Jake's chest. You do this by pressing the letters Q and P on your keyboard at the same time. At the same time. To start with, just do 30 presses at two times a second. Ready? Well done. That's not this too is bad. how you did. I could do better. I should do better. What's really. next? Do okay. you give him mouth to mouth? We need to give two rescue breaths and then tilt the head back again. And get those rescue breaths in. That's pretty self explanatory. Take a normal breath. So it's not like you're blowing up a balloon, it's just like your normal. Ex exhalation? Yeah. Oh, hello. Whoopsie. Should be watching what I'm doing. Because if you blow too hard, you could do damage. Just want to do enough to watch his chest rise and fall. Jake! Come on, Jake, please, just breathe. Now, Jake. I have to add, I am not a first aid trainer. Okay, guys? Great. This is available the to everybody. The defibrillator is on the way. But in the meantime, it's up to you to buy time for Jake with 30 more presses Ooh, 30 and two more, more breaths. So Ready? I'm not teaching you anything that you won't learn on this website. There we go. 85. That's a lot better. That's a, definitely a lot better. It would be nice to get 100%, but that's just me being an achievement hunter. And this is not a game. This could be real life, like I said. Okay, so what do we do now? Okay, so open it up, turn it on, and do what it says. Turn it on and do what it says. This should be clear instructions. So apparently, this was created by a guy for his daughter, and it gives you clear instructions. I don't know how old the daughter was, but it gives you clear instructions of what to do, okay, when so to do it. How do we take his top off? I always kind of want to slap her when she says this. There should be some scissors underneath the pack. Some people panic, panic, so. <laughs> It's not really Quickly, a stupid question. On. If you're panicking, you see your it. friend in this situation, you are going to yeah, panic. Up. Come okay. on. Do, I, do I just put them on uh, like this? Yeah. Even the pads have instructions of where to put, yeah, where yeah, to yeah, put yeah. them, That's you know. Way. Where to position them, I think, is the right word. Stay clear of patients. Analyzing heart rhythm. So at this point, the machine will actually tell you to move okay, away because back. it wants Don't to analyse the heart to see whether it needs Green to do Jay, come on, the shock or not. Okay, in this one. 
and the machine will tell you when to stay clear and what it's doing. Okay, and when if you have to press the shock button, no one touch the patient, the person. Stay well aware. Nothing's touching them. All right, because the shock is actually quite. Uh, press the shock button. The shock is quite. No, no, he can't. A high voltage. So it could save his life, but if anyone's touching him, it could potentially harm them. Did it work? Did it work? So make sure no one's touching him. Do something! It's <laughs> quite an intense situation. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks a lot. We'll take it from here. Okay, okay we're going to take over the CPR in three, two, one. Thank you so much. Oh, it's okay. I just hope it's okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> It's quite a scary well situation. Very scary situation. And I do wonder if this was based on a real scenario. Like I say, this could be anyone, um, unfortunately, at any time. Okay, so my speed wasn't too bad. My accuracy and my CPR could have been better. I don't know. Could it have been? Am I just being a bit harsh with myself because of where I work. I don't know. The two first answers were incorrect on purpose. I could have got 27 out of 27. I should have got 27 out of 27, but this is just to give you an example, guys, of what you can expect from this website. It's called Lifesaver. I will put a link in the description below. I'm not gonna do film two. I wanna know if you guys want me to carry this on, if you want me to do the other two no other free films let me know in the comments below if you like this video guys give me a like subscribe again comment constructive criticism would be grand take care guys bye <laughs>